Hey everybody, uh, I figured I'd go into uh, what's actually in my uh, salad dressing and I'll kind of go into why I put some of the things I put in my salad dressing. Uh, so if anybody's looking for a low calorie salad dressing, I'd recommend this. Um, first thing I normally put in is all my dry ingredients just because uh, I like to reuse this bottle and this funnel. Uh, fits right in it and if I put all the liquid stuff in first all the dry ingredients are going to stick to it um, So one of the main things I use in all of my meals is turmeric um, Turmeric has a lot of great properties to it uh, It's anti-inflammatory uh, Tastes great uh, It's been known to be anti-cancerous which um, is something that's really important to me because uh, I had a family member that ended up passing from cancer and uh, a couple other family members that have had skin cancer so I try to do as many anti-cancer things as I can um, so adding a few extra spices or something doesn't bother me um, so I do a teaspoon and a half of turmeric I do about a quarter teaspoon of onion powder, pretty much just for flavor. There's the quarter. This is kind of like a homemade Italian dressing, uh, loosely. It started as a homemade Italian dressing, and then I added more and more um, stuff to it that was anti-cancerous and healthier for you. Uh, the next thing I add is a teaspoon and a half of oregano. Uh, once again, oregano has quite a few good properties and it's also been known to help uh, prevent cancer. As I said, I'm all about that. Uh, then I do a teaspoon of crushed red peppers. Uh, mainly because I like spicy stuff and also capsaicin has been known to help prevent cancer. Look at uh, a lot of Indian food and the Indian culture, a lot of them don't have cancer uh, like we have over here and I bet a, part, a big part of it is because of the spices that they use as well as not eating a bunch of uh, genetically modified food. but. That's beside the point. Eh, need to get more garlic powder, which is the next thing that I put in. Uh, garlic has a lot of good properties for the body and also has been known to help prevent cancer. Yeah. I normally do a half teaspoon, but as you were seeing, it was being a pain, so we're going to guesstimate a little bit. Uh, going back to how capsaicin is supposed to help, I do a little bit of uh, cayenne powder from the spice mill, local place in Manchester. Uh, I don't really measure this one out because I really like spicy stuff. I'm going to guess a tablespoon. Just if I had to guess. And then some mixed black pepper. This one's also kind of guessing because it's a, I really don't like grinding it all up into a, another dish, measuring it out, and then throwing out the rest. So we'll say about a half, half a teaspoon. And then just a little bit of salt. I actually use... Um, Pink Himalayan sea salt, black Hawaiian salt, and uh, red Hawaiian salt. Uh, the pink Himalayan salt has 21 naturally occurring minerals in it. The it's either the black, yeah, I believe the black has extra carbon in it, and the red has extra iron in it. So if you're gonna have salt, have something that's gonna work with your body a little bit, I guess. And then one of the next 
really important ingredients is Bragg's apple cider vinegar. There's really no other apple cider vinegar in my mind. Um, there's a laundry list of benefits to using apple cider vinegar in your diet. Uh, they have a whole book on it. Um, I'm not, so I'm not really going to get into that. I normally do about half vinegar, half water, and then just mix it all up, and then you have your very low calorie salad dressing that uh, could potentially help prevent cancer. At least that's what I'm telling myself. Whether it does or not, that's a different story. So just add in the water. Uh, this top doesn't seal very well, so I have to be careful where I shake it. Because the one bad thing about turmeric is it stains everything. And there you go. Homemade low calorie salad dressing that may just be super healthy for you. Till next time.